Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, as you guys know, it took me a long, long time to basically choose a new racket. Like I went from that Hyper Hammer 4.495, like that I've customized for over 14 years, and finally went with a Burn uh, 100 Gen 1 from Wilson. Now, I got my buddy here, Roberto Flores, trying to kind of do the same thing. So let's follow his journey down the path of choosing a new modern racket. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So Roberto writes, please help on finding a racket would be an interesting video. Well... Yes, Roberto, this one's for you. Uh, my name is Roberto, and I am from Chile. I have a real problem transitioning from an old racket to a new one. Well, welcome to my club. I played all my life with a Wilson Hyper Hammer 5.3 mid plus. Um, here are the specs. Look at how, look at how organized this dude is. Um, head size 95, 95. That's problem number one. 27.5 length, half inch longer than a standard racket. Strung weight 10.2 on the lighter side. Balance three points head heavy. Again, three points head heavy, HH. That's pretty head heavy. String pattern is a 16 by 20. That's, that's also, that's, all those are very unique, very unique to rackets kind of 20 years ago. So it's, it, it's, it's, this is why it's so tough. Um, this is a list of what he's tried, guys. So arrow, strike, pure drives, blades, ultras, clash, pro staff, RF pro staff, prestige, and extremes. Um, ultimately he chose a RF. <laughs> so, um, uh, interesting dude. Um, uh, which is the most comfortable I could get just for the reference. I love the 5.3 mid plus, but always thought that it could, it lacked a little plush and a little stability when responding to responding balls too heavy and realized when playing with the RF that the hammer lacked a lot of stability at the net. Please give me some recommendations on which rackets to try. So here's some problems that he's stating with the RF here. This guy's very detailed. Sending a lot of balls way too long. Playing with the Hybrid G at 55.5 pounds. Tested a lot of strings including Confidential, my favorite. Uh, my favorite. I find that the angle when I hit the ball is too high I recognize that this is a demanding racket and maybe and maybe my swinging too slow the hammer was way too light in comparison okay so yeah I get it I get it I get what you're trying to say all right Roberto let me just let me get to the point let me take a slug out of my coffee before we uh start analyzing things here all right so if you want to support the channel check out my merch tennisspinusa.com is the website if you want to support my coffee habit network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin all right so we're going to move over to the racket wall here move over to the racket wall here so I'm just gonna take a racket off, a random racket off this wall and basically show you what you have here in your Hyper Hammer 5.595. So you have a 95 square inch head, which is essentially smaller than every racket on this wall. You have a 16 by 16 by 20, which they don't make too many of. You got a half inch longer, which 
most places don't have either. Um, and you have three points head heavy. So it's kind of like doing this deal, right? So what you have is a light overall racket that's half inch longer and very head heavy. That's why it's called a hammer because it's head heavy. Now, how to get to a modern day version of yours. I understand though. I understand why you came here. I understand why you came here. This is where the heft is. Although this is head light, it's head, it's heavy overall. I mean, it's 12 points head light without strings. So it's, what is it? Eight, eight points head light with the strings in. But what you're feeling is the heft that you are used to. When you swing your hyper hammer, all the weight is at the head, is in this head. And because it's in this head, you are remembering, your muscle is remembering the head weight. And you chose the heaviest racket made because you're missing that head weight. Now, you're sending balls long with this racket. Why are you sending balls long with this racket? Your racket, let's say, your racket is 10 too strong, but all the weight's in the head. This is 12.5 strong, 12 and a half, 12 at 12.5 ounces strong, right? You're two ounces different here. Although the weight is, you know, majority in this handle part, um, there's a lot of mass coming through and it's hard for you to control the upward motion because this is heavy right there. It's easier to just throw it up, you know, and kind of shape the ball a little bit more. This wants to keep going because of the extra two ounces and it's hard to kind of um, turn it up because of the extra two ounces in your hand. Now, I, but like I said, I understand why you went here, though. I do. Uh, it's just uh, not enough racket for you. I mean, your racket, although it's a 5.3, it's a 95, and the head heaviness gives it more power, right? So you're going to a 97, but a thinner beam with it head lighter but he but heavier overall this racket wants to just keep going you you're it's too hard for you to shape this ball to get it over um consistently so you're right i mean this is too much racket for you or too little racket for you um but what should you try which what should you try from what i know about your racket the easiest racket for you to go into, where is it? And just so you know, they're not going to make this anymore. Burn 100. Mr. Roberto here. This will should be your transition racket. If you can find it in Chile, get this racket. Burn 100. It, this is... It's got enough head weight for you to actually feel. Although it's not all in the head and it's seven points headlight without strings, it's got the right kind of feel for you. Um, if you're not able to get this racket though, the next alternative, and I know you've tried the, uh, the, uh, thing already. I know you've tried the extreme already. But try the Extreme Tour, 98 square inch on a 10.8 unstrung. It's heavier than yours, but it's definitely going to be easier to maneuver. Okay, so number two, if you haven't tried this one, definitely give it a shot. Okay, the MP would not be a bad choice either, but revisit this if you've already tried it. If not, go for it, okay? Now, the third one, the third and final one that I think you really need to try is 
Boom, baby. They're up for demo right now. You can't buy these yet unless you can in Chile. Um, uh, over here in the States, um, we're not selling these yet, but after J January 15th, we will be. Um, but we're demoing them right now and we've had a great, great um, you know, start to this racket. People like it. Uh, people are excited to buy it. Uh, people are excited to try it. But the Pro is the one that I definitely would like for you. It's got the weight in the head like a hammer. And when it comes through, it's got enough weight that would feel familiar to you. If you know what I mean. You, you should know what I mean. Um, so I would say try these three. Um, guys, if you guys have a kind of a hammer from back in the day, uh, no matter what it is, you know, 2740, uh, 5363, three, any of those type of hammers. Um, these kind of rackets that are, that feel more heavy towards the end, uh, would be great choices for your, um, transition. Um, if you're just, you know, married to that kind of, uh, balance and head heaviness. Okay. Good luck, Roberto. Um, take care in Chile. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.